Hi and good morning here on this Tuesday. Alright, I said a couple of days ago that I would show you what Paris looks like. Well here is Paris Rebuild the version 2.5. Now we're in the developer mode and I am somewhere stuck at a set of traffic lights but not anywhere near here but this is what happens when you can fly around the map now there is the Eiffel Tower which has been added here in this Paris Ream build and there's the other iconic building which is Notre Dame the church yeah and now why couldn't they put these two in when they built Paris SCA software I do not know anyway the person that's done this has done a very fine job so this is what it looks like when you look from up above all the joining roads now I've got a job on here I am stuck at traffic lights holding everybody up so without further ado Route calculated. let's go and deliver this trailer now we're actually driving out of Paris so But it's all Frenchified, little nice little caps. We might drive through some of them now. Not sure. Now I'll pre-warn you I'm using a new traffic mod. As anybody that's watched the previous couple of streams have known that my traffic density has been really, really low. So it's took me a couple of hours through the night to try and get one that works. Because it takes me about 10, 10 minutes for more anything that I'll make changeable turn right. in this to load up yeah. so when one day work and crashes <laughs> takes me another 10 minutes to take it out or for another one to load up it's due to the big uh, map combo but touch wood this one seems to be working pretty good so doing this small little stream this morning as I've got a few things on today, um, i got the nice people from a courier service coming to pick up my broken Fanatec hub and take it away to be repaired. So I've got to get things sorted for that. I've got it all, get it all packed up. Shouldn't take two minutes, I've got to go back in a box and a bit of sellotape put on. Um, but that's one of the two things. I also intend doing a stream today on American, uh, as we had much content of American go out on the channel, as I've been trying my utmost best to get this uh, copy of Euro Truck sorted. And I think, to be fair, it's almost there now. I've got traffic in. Um, I ain't too worried about weather mods Please because use the. Left the the one that does the rain and everything has got sky boxes in uh, so that does that that covers that again it, it ain't as good as natural looks but again I don't think natural looks is compatible with 137 yet um, as soon as it does come available I will put it in but if I can't use it then I'll have to do with what everybody else does and that's the vanilla um, but besides that, uh, everything's running lovely. Please use the left lane. Now this is a very, very long journey. As I says, I only want to try it. And you don't have to drive very far to uh, test out these um, traffic mods because if they want to crash the crash fairly quick on you as I was only getting just out of my garage here in Paris 
Uh, and I would even get in that and the mod was crashing on me. That was the one by clip. And I'm surprised really because it's high up in his right the ratings for mods on Steam Workshop. I have no problems with it at all in American as to what I use in that, but unfortunately they don't like my Euro trucks. So whether it's because Clip I got his sand foil pack. Again, I don't think that should make any difference, but you never know because what it changed in the game I haven't got a clue. But I've moved it up and down the stack and it don't wanna know. It don't matter if it's above all my cars or above everything else again because it don't say, you know, this needs so and so priority. It's just with trial and error over the last I don't know, say six, seven months uh, of actually modifying this game and Euro uh, American trucks that you sort of learn right well that goes in that priority and if it does you just keep moving them until they eventually work um, again you call Blair SS software because again you're modifying their game so if you take out everything that's modifiable uh, and then it don't work then then you can contact them and say look you know I've got an issue but I'm causing the issues by changing their game so it's nothing to do with SCS software it's my choice and again they do allow people to modify their creation and American but it does make a great deal of difference when you can get these games modified and working well um, please use the right lane then take the right exit there's places I've drove in the last couple of days on this map please take the um, right exit still got loads of places to discover yet I think now I've only done 5% of the Euro Euro trucks map yeah that is nothing you know 5% jeez I even touched the size yeah as they say so And it's much similar with the one in America. Uh, that, again, there are enough hours in my day. You know, if I, I, I tend to not stream in the day because uh, of the light. Again, it's just coming up. What is it? Five to five here in the morning. So, you know, as later on in the day are uh, loads of light in the room it ain't too bad at the moment because it's, it's light in the game but when it's night time as i've said before it's a little bit hard on the eyes to see um now we have put another a mod in to try and brighten that up again it ain't as bright as it used to be but it's better it's better than having no brightness um whether it's the weather mod I've put in because that's got light boxes in. And when I say light boxes, not as in a box. What it does, it changes the sky at different times. So one minute it could be overcast. Next minute it could be cloudy. Next minute it could be foggy. That's what light boxes are within this game. So rather than putting a, um, a graphics mod on, which is like natural looks. Because natural looks does all that kind of stuff but it does the vegetation the road textures i think and the sky but of course like i said 137 version is available for natural looks yet i had it in 136 right and then of course right exit. everything uh, when the beta come out i lost all natural looks yeah Please take the right exit. um You've got to move with the times. I know there's a lot of people still out there playing 136 because you're playing it online on Truckers MP, but you don't know what you're missing, fellas and girls. <laughs> we'll be sexist in this world. But no, seriously, they have really improved it. I mean, I were a big lover of the sounds when they come out. Yeah. I mean, I ain't bothered about the gimmicky walking around the garage and everything. That don't interest me. I like to go in. I like to design me a truck and if there's available packs out there to do um, as I call it pimp your truck up then I'm all for it 
but as for like walking around again great for anybody that's making promotion videos so i can understand where ss coming from put it a for me yeah i do like a few more improvements in the game that would have been more beneficial to us all yeah uh and you know which ones there mum if you watch my channel i'm always on about it if they'd have updated their uh interface so when people ask can you give us a set you know roughly one the settings i could give that people that that information yeah you know if they put numbers on my sliders then i could say well i've got mine at 10 this at 15 this at 30 but they could do that they'd rather couple of gig or whatever it did in size on my hard drive to walk around the garage that nobody ever spends more than i don't know 20 minutes in when you're making a truck again there are a lot i can do about it as now they don't even acknowledge me whatever content i do for euro trucks or american they ignore me so i says a lot for sa software yeah but never mind as we say here in england shit happens <laughs> i still play the games i still buy the dlcs because i do enjoy the game it's just when things need updating they don't like that kind of criticism and it ain't because i'm dishing them i'm just stating facts yeah there's a difference yeah it's called process positive criticism not in anything being nasty yeah if it helps to make your game even better when people say to me what's the best game around i would like to say euro trucks and american trucks but then i've got to say that but they aid on this and they aid on that yeah and that's the only thing that spoils your game no manuals no telling off what things are am no description no nothing that's the other gripe and that's the only two gripes i've got interface and some kind of description on what things do within your game because we are all truck drivers you know i wouldn't know half the things in this and if i knew what i was looking for then i probably wouldn't keep on about it but if you don't know what the names of stuff is or what to find then i i picked up more from ex lorry drivers than i have from yourselves yeah anyway no times i promise you stay there well, this traffic mod must be working right because normally they'd pull out on me and make me crash the truck here comes a bit of a drop of rain and we'll have a bit of that you can always tell when the game's about to crash is everything seems to start going a bit slow yeah like stu sluggish that's a normal sign for me that yeah any minute now the game's gonna go do, 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 and then stop so at the present time i ain't seen that happen so that's a good sign it's normally when there's a big build up of cars so that, again it's like anything i had it um in a set of competition a set of course competition should i say um the more ai cars that you have on a racetrack the more your computer's got to do now that for me is the most intensive game of all but i can understand it with this as well because where a set of competition only loads up as one there's no way that this game could load up in one because there's too much to load so this i think i 100 sure this load is up in stages so as you get to it you can see the trees appear and that yeah just seen, well let me try and see if i can capture some on camera yeah i know there's cars spawning at different periods in time 
I've even thought I've seen cars disappear in front of me. I was like, okay, where's that car just gone? It's just gone, and you know. But that's the way the game is. The last couple of days, I've had some right funny moments. I've been sat here, and cars have been going underneath roads, where I even there. I've seen cars. Um. Oops. Are you coming down the gears? I've seen cars come over to the top of me as if there's a bridge or something again i've got my lights on in the rain i'm not one of these i've got their headlights on now for some reason these signs have all got dim but that is way 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 too dim that needs to be a lot brighter i'm gonna actually have a look for a mod as these don't look bright enough yeah these used to be so bright unbelievable Again, whether there's a, a mod out there. Now, at one time, um, even after when they've made different versions of this game, there used to be a load more mods out for Euro trucks than America. Now, I don't expect to have my American trucks up and running and everything working well so soon, yeah? Because people don't tend to mod that game as much as this one. But looking on all the mod sites it's mainly updated versions of different trucks and trailers you know and like stuff like i don't know lights like you know making the game brighter at night when it gets dark there's nothing like that now i mean they've still got loads of stuff even on steam workshop which is like for versions like 134 135 136 you know that's another thing i wish they would wipe them again yeah, at least take away some of the older versions, you know, which are compatible. Right, has this stopped raining? It looks like it. We'll turn them off for a bit. That was just a, a taste of probably what rain will come. I know where we're on. 56 mile road. Try and keep to the speed limit. Get in that lane because we're leaving this motorway. Next exit by the Please looks of it. The right lane. Definitely, he's throwing me out a good traffic flow now, so I'm happy with that. And as they say on the tin, if it don't, you take if they broke, don't fix it. I shall stick with it, yep. Yeah. It's just nothing worse than driving down the road and having nothing there, yeah. Um, I don't mind sitting in a little bit of a traffic queue traffic jam or a traffic queue it makes the game more realistic yeah again you can drive down a road and be stuck in traffic for 20 minutes i want to be that person who's stuck in traffic for 20 minutes yeah not the one that's got to drive on empty big roads and like i said with all these added extra maps now um I want to see cars on there now i've put other packs in that should be i mean i put all the jazzy cat packs in uh traffic manic i think it's called i can't get it to work so i think i've got enough of the jazzy cat packs and work with having nothing to spawn these other cars and trucks in i've all seen half of the stuff yeah so now it's all working lovely and i'm seeing a good variation of normal trucks cars um vehicles are recognizing i like with them um, different logos on a different companies
motorbikes as well so and the buzzies it's another thing when everything's running like this it makes this game a joy sitting here I mean my friend Mark said it and it is when it's working great you just your time just flies you forget after about an hour or two that you're actually playing a PC game so So to be told by my good buddy Mark how good it is in VR, again, we ain't getting that resolution. I can't wait to experience that. Yeah, I mean, it's good with the track IR. I could take it away, you know. But I ain't in the cab. I need to be. I need to be in the cab now. We've had the two years of playing about and using track. Uh, uh, Talby Oi tracking and this track I mean but again I've been told I will be gaming so much in VR right. as or hours due to sickness again uh, I'm gonna have to wait and see on that one I call I mean some people get it some people don't I'm hoping oh yeah one of these that's gonna get it so we'll just have to wait and see but for the time being I'll stick to the old track the IR lane. now here comes a bit of fog come on car and it's what I like I'll go just pull out I've now definitely got to wait for a gap in the traffic now that makes it more realistic for me I'll turn them off because I think that rain stopped as well. Has it? No. Slightly there, so it's just drizzling. So again, that's what I like about this uh, weather mod. They'll just like come on, heavy shower, rain, and go. There's other things that builds up, so it's little, little spots of rain. It's gone foggy. You know that realism factor's kicking in. Soon be night time. So again, you got all these kind of conditions to drive in whilst it's dark as well. I'm driving to a destination probably I've never drove to before. But I wouldn't be able to sell that anyway because I've reset the map about three weeks now. So all my previous destinations uh, got wiped and I started uh, from afresh. And I'm glad I did really. Because um, now I'm, how long I've been doing I mean, I've already done 50 hours so far. <laughs> so, anyway, and we're going in. So, I think we're going out of France and we're now going into Germany, I think. I could be wrong, I hate you up. Now the other day I had a little pop up saying my country was in, but I ain't getting that. It's probably because I've turned off notifications. Well, not turned them off, but if I ain't got me sat navy bar across the, the top, lane. I don't think we get them notifications to tell me what country I'm in or what country I've just entered in. That's what I meant to say. Anyway, we'll turn them off for a little bit now because I think this rain shower's disappeared. Well, I do think it's Germany. I'll soon tell in a minute. Once just yet yeah, Frankfurt. That's Germany. So that's where we are at the moment. Or I'm seeing signs for that are Cologne. I mean, I have probably drove up these roads 
many times before. And I think it's quite good when you can like wipe it and start from afresh. I mean, this is the second time I've actually done this now. I did it once by mistake. And we had issues with um, things showing up red in the game. I used to have like all the traffic cars that was um, broken down on the middle of the side of the road in the hard shoulder, like the police cars with a vehicle and they'd just be bright red. Again, it was something to do with the Jazzy Cat packs and whatever had been updated in 137 Beta. Again, that's now been addressed and fixed. But I thought it might have been because when you're modding, you're taking files in and out, and it might have not like put a proper file from the game original back in, might have modified one of them. So, please use the again, right lane. Mark said he had an issue similar, but his was with the garages. Uh, it, the only difference I did with Mark, mine, with Mark Day, he day deleted save games. And once you delete your saved games, you delete everything. Yeah. So that's a word of warning to anybody that does decide to want to restart. Don't say delete your save game. Otherwise, when you load your map, you know, like in your standard DLCs, what we buy from SCS Software, all the routes and roads and destinations that you've travelled to, if you delete that file um, or any saved files, then all that progress, what you've probably spent months driving up and down on Euro trucks, will be lost. Same goes for American. So, I thought I'd get that out of the way. I mean, like I said, it's nice to have clean maps. Um, as I wanted to do this game a lot different. I wanted to do all of England, Scotland and Wales. Please I've now right got lane. Wales, then properly. Right uh, so, ooh, what about a bit of indication, Mr. Ice Cream Man? Went to bed then. Um, so I can, right exit. can now do that. Again, I have come away from driving in England because I need to just test out some of these maps, what we've added. But that's what I'll go back to doing is driving all the roads in the UK, just picking jobs up and down that country. If I could get jobs to the places, then I should just drive to them uh, in free drive, as they call it. Uh, here we come now to see if these is a little bit brighter of a night slowly going dark but my motorway now has got some traffic now again I ask you whether this is gonna thin out as it gets darker like a proper Please traffic would maybe more lorries on the road than cars so we'll have to wait and see I know the clip one does you don't see uh, anything on but you know a few lorries a few buzzes and then I think it's about half four quarter to five in game time you'll see the cars start uh, coming on spawning a lot more so it's a shame really I'll call Geddes to work on Euro. Anyway, I'm getting somewhere else now again. I'm not sure whether there's any like iconic landmarks in a few of these other places that we're travelling to. I tell you what I did Please enjoy when I actually found it that was Rio de Janeiro. Um that's on the EAA map again. We've got all that side of the game to uh, drive through as well, man. So if you do enjoy watching the Euro trucks, then don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the bell. That way, 
He'll never miss. Uh, or you get notified when I'm streaming next. Got a few new ones of these crash crashes on the screen. That's to do with a um, a mod I've put in that will show different ones rather than the ones where you get to see all the oil. I mean, we've done a few, quite Easy a few little mods uh, over the last week and a bit. I mean, just in the cab alone, there's that new CB, which. Okay, I could do nothing with it, but it looks better. Um, again, I'm missing not playing Truckers MP online multiplayer as myself and Mark and Brian. Now he's got a wheel, bless him. Uh, there's Bobster, Keith, Dominic, uh, Joel, and anybody else. If you have got one, you want to join in just drop us a, a message and when truckers mp comes available for 137 Please use the left we'll organize a little run out with us all and it's nothing too serious you know as long as you do good driving into people we don't we don't go on these uh multiplayer versions to you know harass or anybody we just like a nice little drive Keep in contact in the game via the CBs. Now, me and Mark used to be in Skype or TeamSpeak, or again, I've got my own Discord channel. So, it can all be in voice, but to make it more authentic, is we use the CB built into the game, which is on your keyboard. It's the letter X. So, every time you press the letter X, if you're more close by, then you can hear each other. Um, I met quite a few people with being on that CB. I met Keith that way. Uh, we was driving down the road. Somebody crashed into me, and Keith piped up Please on the CB. The and I think I went on that. He, you know, pulling a few chosen words. Anyway, we drove our, our routes. We come to a. A ferry place, Keith went one way, I went the other, but Keith added me, um, and now you've met a friend, yep. So that's the way this game goes. Because this, if you've never seen this game, which I'm sure majority of you have, this game is played by quite a, a lot of people of all ages, um, and both sexes as well some fantastic women drivers um, on Euro and American and I'm seeing this a lot better than I was the other day again it probably got really dark in the game yeah it's only 20 past 11, it's when it gets light, after a certain point this gets really really dark dark. But I still am going to have another look out, see if I can find any. There was some mods out before 137, that, that was like reflective, so all the signs was like really bright. Uh, reflecting with the headlights. But this mod I got in at the moment is supposed to put... Our car headlights further out, which it is doing. But as these cars get further away, their red brake lights don't seem as bright as they used to be. So over there, all my eyes are as good as they used to be. It's probably one of the two. Right, we need to get over. But I'm loving this at the moment now with the traffic flow. This is what I was on about uh, on my previous stream the other night. I hadn't got this kind of traffic. I'd just got me and probably two other cars. 
on the road and now that just don't seem realistic enough. Please use the left lane. We're now, yeah, we've got to drive you as you would in the real world, sensible. Checking your mirrors because you never know something to come up the side of you. So you, call, you know, when you're playing vanilla of this, you can sort of like nine times out of ten, don't even have to look at your mirrors because you know there's nothing there. Where now, you know, I'll be checking my mirrors every couple of seconds. If I'm, you know, ready to go and overtake something, you know, if I'm coming up on some slow traffic cars or a vehicle of any description, that's an nice view in that mirror. And the clouds, I'm in the uh, moon hidden in them clouds. Again, I'm just slow down slightly. And this is, yeah, it's only a 50 round, there's me doing touching 60 it's so hard to uh, sometimes creep over that speed limit and we'll try and find a petrol station in a minute because I know this journey ain't that far but I don't want to be running out of diesel I think the game has got as dark as it's going to get. So yeah, this does light up better than what it was. Now you see on the other side of the carriageway, it's mainly all lorries now. So, yeah, so that's a good thing, lorry, couple of cars. As that's how it would be of a night time, you've got your transport companies delivering goods through the night so yeah that's realism for me um, we'll just see now if we don't get to the destination before the morning starts to break when you know the, the flow of cars I think it's about half past four or five o'clock in the game so we've got like a good couple of hours but I think I'll get to the destination um, before then I ain't sure We'll see. We're just about to get over in that lane then. I'm glad I never moved. <laughs> Gotta get over now. Please use the right lane, then turn right. Please turn right. Now hold on. One I've stalled, and then two. Oh, it is. I'm going the right way. Got a little bit confused in them. The left lane. Some of these roads are weird at times. Like I said, Please being use the right lane. Then dark, turn right. it does make it a little bit more order to see. Again, Please turn right. being in VR probably going to make that a lot a lot better as I've been having a look at that many reviews on VR headsets oh my lord I don't even know that they've stopped producing the normal rift please use the left lane again with what I've been reading though the rift s for its prime point, point uh, price is a really good uh, headset. I'll soon find out how good it is. 
And my good buddy gets his. I hopefully he'll get it soon. So he can tell me all about how good it is. Anyway, I think we are very far away from delivering this truck um, or trailer. I will say truck, I mean trailer. Well, we're back up to 50 mile an hour. Tend to drive in ninth gear, and now I don't go over the 50 mile an hour speed limit here in this uh, Scania RS. Um, Brennan, um, and is that the round set of coming up on my screen? Um, so the destination is in view, could be. Seems to be a lot of crashes on this road. That's for sure. Yeah, it's the circle to say I'm coming up to destination, so it's coming up for 20 to 2 in the morning in the game. Looks like we've still got a little bit of a distance to travel though before we get to that round circle so probably going up and over a few roads it looks like we're going up a bit of an hill to be fair And there's a fair amount of traffic on the other side of the road, but there don't seem to be much on my side of the road. So, whether that will change in a minute when we get into this town. So I'm turning right here in a minute somewhere. Please use the right lane. Then take can't the even right see exit. the right lane. <laughs> I love it when it's like this. I can't even see where I am going. Please take the right exit. That's how dark it is. Turn right soon. Please turn right. I mean, them traffic lights just don't look bright enough. I seriously don't. They look dim or dull. So it then only one lane for us. Please use the right lane. Can't even tell whether that is on green. South food it is. Likewise.
Please drive straight ahead. Oh, it's them. And traffic lights that a traffic lights of a night zoom. Nah. Nah, what the hell's crashing into me there then? I don't know what that was. Turn left soon. Please turn left. Turn left soon. We'll turn more left than that in a minute. Please turn left. There we am. <clears throat> Destination reached. Navigation finished. I ache in on when I get to places like this in the total darkness. Because it's a pain to see fucking. Well, this doesn't seem that bad. I'll probably get fairly level with it before. I slap the van, the van, the lorry into reverse. So, nah, I swear I was on about earlier on. When you go in to your garage, I'm oh, sorry. Where you can modify your truck. I've got all lights all over mine. I love to have it on the lights on if I find some. Now I found a great pack with loads of customizable lights. Um, that name box at the top, which allows you to do that. I mean, it allows me to personalise your own truck, doesn't it? Um, and that stands for Black Country Blitz. And again, for love the money, I don't know what YouTube I'm playing at. Um, somebody I subscribe to and follow on Twitch is Milan. Uh, a guy that just. Um, Euro trucks plugins makes videos on top 10 plugins art every month. You know, there's a lot of people doing that there, but Milan's a nice guy. Um, and YouTube have gone and cancelled his channel, you know. But that's the one of the things I got before they did. And there's these, these uh, light boxes with our names and lit up in the cab. I think they look fantastic, you know. Why go and you know. Stop a person, yeah, yeah, nobody, you know, but hey, it's good to have a good YouTuber, may they? Any road, that's done. I hope you enjoyed this small little stream this morning. And if you do like what you see, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button, and of course, that bell as well, so you get notified on when I'm streaming, so you never miss a thing. As we say here in the black country, it's a bit.